Now let us discuss about D to T flip flop conversion. Here totally we have to follow five steps. Step one is identify available and the required flip flops. Available means input flip flop. That is D flip flop. Whereas required flip flop is output flip flop. That is T flip flop. Second step. Construct characteristic table for the required flip flop. So here the required flip flop is T flip flop. So the second step is based upon the required flip flop. So for T flip flop we have to construct the characteristic table. So here the inputs are T and QN are the inputs. Whereas QN plus 1 is the output. So here we have two inputs. So totally we will have 2 power 2. That is four combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Uh, here the logic is very, very simple. If T is 1, then QN plus 1 is similar to Q only. So QN plus 1 is similar to QN only. Whereas if T is equal to 1, then this QN will be complemented. It will be toggled. So 0 will be converted to 1, 1 will be converted to 0. So this is the characteristic table. And step 3 and step 4 are based upon the available flip flops. Step 3 is construct excitation table for the available flip flop. Here the available flip flop is D flip flop. Here QN, QN plus 1 are the inputs. Whereas D is the output. Here we have two inputs. So total we will have four combinations. Here the excitation table is very very simple for the D flip flop. Simply we have to write qn plus 1 values in D. So here in the first uh, scenario, what is qn plus 1? 0. So D value is 0. Next to 1. Next to 0. Next to 1. Next, uh, uh, this is step 3. Uh, next what we have to do is based upon the excitation table, we have to fill this table. We have to write one more column here. So that column is D column based upon qn and qn plus 1 we have to fill the D column. So 0, 0, QN value is 0, QN plus 1 value is 0. So then what is the output? 0. Next, next to 1, 1, what is the output? 1. Next to 0, 1, output is 1. Next to 1, 0, what is the output? A 0 is the output. Next to step 4, find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop that is D. So for D flip flop, we have to find the Boolean expression. So let us observe D column. So here we have two ones. So we have first one when T and QN values are 0, 1. Second one when T and QN values are 1, 0. There is no need of any Karnoff map for simplification. Directly we can write here. So 0, 1. So here we have first one when T value is 0, QN value is 1. So we can write this as <coughs> T bar. What is QN value? 1. T bar QN. Second one, when T is 1, QN is 0. So T QN bar. So this is nothing but A bar B plus A B bar. We know the formula. That is exclusive R formula. So T exclusive R QN. So that is step 4. Find the Boolean expression for the available flip flop. So for the available flip flop D, the Boolean expression is T exclusive R QN. And the last step is draw the circuit diagram. So let us draw the circuit diagram. So here what is the input here? What is the input? D is the input and the outputs are QN and the complemented output. Actual output and the complemented output. And here the formula is T exclusive R QN. So we have to take exclusive R gate. Exclusive R gate receives two, uh, two inputs. So one input is T. Another input is QN. QN. So this is QN. So it will produces this exclusive R gate produces T exclusive R QN as the output. We have to pass that output to the D. So this is nothing but circuit diagram. In this way we can convert D to the 